We're going to be introducing the first week. We have two different programs we use for the robotics team. We have one called EasyC and another one called RobotC. This is the introductory one, which is very graphical, so it's really nice to get them started right away. So we're going to use this one first, and the first lessons we're going to be going over with the, the teams is um, some diagnostic stuff. Uh, we're learning where the motors are on the robot and um, labeling. We call it robot mapping. So what we do is we connect the robots to the laptops, and then they can interact between the robot and the, um, the programming here to actually ascertain exactly which motor is assigned to which port, uh, which direction the, for the polarity of the rotation of the motors and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing with it now. And then from there, we'll move on to um, actually starting talking about autonomous programming for the robots and then the programming with the actual radios for the driver control. So that in the class, that's what we use it for. And then on the team, we've also, last year we went to the World Championship. One of the things we did um, to really increase the complexity of our um, design journal is we, we're using SolidWorks here uh, to make, make models of the, the robot. This one we were working on last year. So this was actually the chassis we were working on with um, one of the teams before they went away. And I actually had an old student, how things come, they stay in cycles together. One of my old students actually came up, I had him as a student 20 years ago, and he's one of the, he actually, you ever see the TV show BattleBots? He, yes, yes. He actually, he is one of the builders for the, the robot called Witch Doctor. Are you wow. familiar with Witch Doctor? Mm -hmm. So he came last year and he was helping the kids and we were working on this together. So what we did is we set it up right in front of the, the desk like the table like this. We had the wireless uh, keyboard and the wireless mouse and they did the drawings right there and we ran through some of the simulation and stuff. And it runs really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, we do eventually reach a point though, we had so many different assemblies open up all the way across it. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we use it for that also. And then now we're starting to get into um, we just got the software, so we're still exploring it. Uh, but we got the uh, virtual world uh, for VEX. I don't know if you guys are familiar with VEX robotics. So we have what we're going to be doing this year for one of the online challenges. They have online challenges every year. In 